Let's take a look at the Pasha de Cartier. This is one of Gerald Genta's better known designs. He designed the pole router. He designed the Audemar Piguet Royal Oak, the, the Nautilus from Patek Philippe, the engineer from IWC, and the Pasha de Cartier. That one he did in 1985. So I have the Middle Eastern Market Special Edition here in front of the camera that I believe was limited to about 200 units. It has since sold out. It is no longer available from Cartier's authorized distributorship. But fortunately, there is a non-regional edition, non-limited edition that carries a very similar guilloche texture dial in the same size on the same bracelet. And that one retails at $7,050. So let's talk about the design language here. I really like what is it play because it is so different from what you normally see. And it's also different from what you normally see from Cartier. So they're most well known for doing square or rectangular watch designs with Roman numerals. And this one obviously is celebrating the circular form and the linear form and pairing them together in an almost shocking or dramatic way. It's not a seamless transition. It's an abrupt transition. And that is made possible by these Vendome lugs that were designed and patented back in the 1930s by Louis Cartier. And you guys can see how the case is emphasized with its round form, with its dominant, nearly flat polished bezel, which uh, honestly, it's a little bit disappointing. We don't have the dive bezel here like we did with the Gerald Genta Pasha in 1985. Uh, that dive bezel is only found on the current chronograph when this was reintroduced as a theme or a, as a line within the product catalog in 2020. But we have a very round case and then we have a round crown at the three o'clock position, which is dominant and, and again, pretty large visually. But it's upon closer inspection that this is not the actual crown. You unthread it and you realize this is a cap covering a true crown, which is shielded underneath. And this cap is attached to the case with this curving swing arm. So you move the cap out of position and then you're able to wind the movement and set the time. And unfortunately, if you have large fingers, it is very difficult to operate. And that's one of the negative elements about this watch. And it's a theme that I've noticed with this Pasha that uh, it's a design mantra. It's form over function and less form follows function, if that makes sense. And the crown execution is one of those things where you're sacrificing some function because of the form and because of the novelty, because of the style and the history. And you have to be on board with that. There will be some give and take. But stepping back to my original point, very circular when it comes to the case and the crown. And then you look at the dial, which is a lovely fume guilloche sunray green that borders more on the olive hue or tone of the green color scheme and it really looks sharp there is quite a bit of reflection coming off of this dial and it really changes depending on the light situation that you're in cartier is very well known for doing excellent dial work but instead of having a circular index track in this very circular form we have the contrasting rectangular railroad track subset in the dial, the silvered printing is dimensional and crisp. The execution is nice. We have a date at the four o'clock position, which with most watch enthusiasts, that's a no-no. We don't like the date at the four o'clock or the 4.30. But on the Pasha, I think it works. Again, it's more form over function. We're sacrificing some of those indexing. But that's what was found on the original design by Gerald Genta in the 1980s. So why would you do anything else? I think this is appropriate on the Pasha de Cartier. Now going to the bracelet, going to the lug system, this is where we emphasize or we have emphasized to us the linear aspect of this watch in stark contrast to the circular elements. So we have a Vendome lug system, like I mentioned, patented by Louis Cartier in the 1930s. Notice the rounded clue to Perry decorative elements at the ends of the lugs and how the width of the bracelet is similar in flow in dimension to that linear index track the railroad track set within the circular case so there is some good symmetry here even though it's stark symmetry it's <laughs> very different uh, the form of the circle the form of 
the square are being celebrated independently in this one design. And I've got to say that stark marriage is attractive. This is an elegant, sophisticated sports piece with 100 meters of water resistance. This is comfortable on wrist. This has style. This has that form and less of the function, but we still do have some function. We have the quick switch technology for taking off the bracelet and putting it on a complimentary leather strap. We also have the easy link system, so you don't need a screwdriver. You don't need to go to the authorized dealer to take the links out and adjust the size of the bracelet. We have the substantive butterfly clasp here, very well machined. And then again, we have something that's fairly uncommon for Cartier in a sports piece. We have an exhibition crystal in this 100 meter water resistant sports piece. Most of their sports watches carry closed sterile case backs with Roman numerals on the dial. Again, this one, very different. If you opt for the standard production Pasha de Cartier, you'll get Art Deco stylized markers at the cardinal positions. And then this one, this Middle Eastern market specific special edition comes with the Hindu Arabic applied markers. These ones are appliques and they look very sharp, very nice. This watch on my 7.25 inch wrist, it has a good presence. It has good light play. It has a pleasant weight. I've noticed that I can get a good fit here with the size of the links. So overall, I just think it's a great design. It would be nice to own something designed by Gerald Genta. A lot of his designs either are, are so hard to obtain, like the Royal Oak and like the Nautilus, or they're not my personal favorite stylistically, like the Pole Router or the Ingenieur, but something like this, the Pasha de Cartier, that has such individualistic design language, celebrating form and putting that over function, this is more attainable. I can get this, I can add it to the rotation, and I can enjoy a Gerald Genta inspired design done by one of the best movement makers, one of the best watch brands that has really taken up market space in the horological segment. You know, this is appealing to me. It might not be appealing to everybody, but I like it. Let's talk about negative elements. I touched on a couple here. That crown is very hard to operate once you take the cap off. And this watch needs some anti-reflective treatment or it needs a better application of ARC because the dial is so beautiful and you do want some light play. You do want some visual interest, but you want more clarity to see the detail work, see the silver printing, see the silver date wheel at the four o'clock position, see those Hindu Arabic markers. So I think that would enhance this watch. I also think the rotating bezel, the dive bezel would enhance this watch and tie in more so with that original design from the mid 1980s by Gerald Genta. So I want to shout out my friend Stan for lending me this very hard to come by. Very cool green Pasha de Cartier, this regional market specific limited edition. It has been an absolute joy to have in hand and to film. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. So please reach out with questions. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.